If you're looking to buy a new car lately, you're probably considering an electric vehicle. With low maintenance costs, environmental benefits, and even purchase subsidies, it seems like there's no reason not to choose an electric vehicle. But some still say it's too early to make the switch. Isn't charging inconvenient? Fast charging or slow charging? What do you do on the highway? In line with the goal of achieving carbon neutrality by 2050, the relevant government agencies have announced plans to increase the number of electric vehicles to 4.5 million out of the approximately 27 million registered vehicles by 2030, with only about 550,000 electric vehicles currently on the road. It seems there's still a long way to go. So, what can be done to convince those hesitant about purchasing electric vehicles? First, it's important to review the current support policies. The Electric Vehicle Promotion Program is divided into support at the purchasing stage and support at the ownership stage. Examples include providing purchase subsidies and expanding charging infrastructure. The scale of the supports is enormous, amounting to nearly a quarter of the entire budget of the Ministry of Environment. The government is providing substantial support to deploy electric vehicles. An analysis was conducted to assess how much these supports have actually impacted the deployment of electric vehicles. It was found that when the number of chargers increases by 10%, the number of newly registered electric vehicles increases by 12.4%. Additionally, when the vehicle price is reduced by 10% due to subsidies, electric vehicle purchases increase by 15.8%. However, the problem is cost-effectiveness. In fact, among the 240,000 electric vehicles distributed between 2019 and 2022, it was analyzed that only around 60,000 additional vehicles were distributed due to the subsidies. Considering that the government spent 2.6 trillion won in budget for subsidies during that period, the cost effectiveness doesn't seem to be very high. Do you remember earlier when we talked about expanding electric vehicle distribution, not only through purchase subsidies, but also by building charging infrastructure? What if, instead of providing subsidies, we installed more electric charging stations to deploy the additional 60,000 electric vehicles? The analysis shows that approximately 90,000 charging stations are needed. The most important part is that the cost the government needs to invest is only around 390 billion won. This shows that a similar effect can be achieved with much less budget compared to providing subsidies. Furthermore, Additional analysis indicates that even when considering social benefits from the expansion of electric vehicle deployment, such as consumer benefits and environmental cost reductions, the current level of subsidies appears to be excessive. If so, what kind of policies should be implemented going forward for a more efficient deployment of electric vehicles? 먼저, 구매 단계의 보조금 지원 단가를 계속해서 축소해 나갈 필요가 있습니다. 그간 전기 승용차는 렌터카 택시 등 영업용 차량의 보급이 더 빠르게 진행되어 왔기 때문에 향후 자가용 전기차의 보급이 더 필요한 상황인데 분석 결과에 따르면 자가용 전기차가 상대적으로 가격에 덜 민감한 것으로 나타났습니다. 또한 배터리 성능 개선과 그에 따른 가격 하락이 이루어질수록 내연차 대비 친환경 차의 경쟁력 확보가 용이해지게 됩니다. 이러한 점들을 고려하면 구매 가격 지원이 갖는 유효성은 더 낮아질 수밖에 없는 상황입니다. 그와 더불어 운행 단계의 편의성 개선을 위해 충전 인프라 보강이 굉장히 중요하다고 할수 있습니다. 질적인 측면에서 기 설치된 충전소가 온전히 기능할 수 있는 유지 관리 및 편의성 제고 노력이 필요하며 고속도로 휴게소와 같은 이동 거점에서의 충전 여건 개선을 위해 양적인 확대도 동반되어야 할 것입니다. Expanding the deployment of electric vehicles is a national task aimed at achieving carbon neutrality. Given the large budget involved, it is essential that government spending is carried out more efficiently. In that case, it would be more necessary to focus on strengthening the charging infrastructure rather than providing subsidies.